okay so i know you guys are all here for my low bite update you guys want to know how i did you guys are probably looking for support or are curious to see how i'm doing in my low bite journey so let's just get right into the video okay so i do have my purchases written down here we're gonna go over every single one of them um because i did make quite a few but um Let's not judge too harsh because I am struggling. Okay, so let's get into my purchases and let's not judge too harshly. We are all here to support one another. Um, no negativity in this space. Um, so I did purchase a Chanel lipstick, which you guys um, knew because I talked about it in my intro video for... Oh, no, I didn't talk about that, actually. I talked about the blush, which we'll get to in a minute um and also a glossier purchase so you guys already know about those two purchases but the purchases you don't know about are the chanel lipstick that i purchased for 45 dollars and 47 cents this was from le comet um this was from the le comet uh collection and i have like a whole video on comparisons and stuff like that and i really do love and enjoy that lipstick i've been testing it out for about a week now it's a lovely lipstick but besides the point um and i don't feel too bad about that because it's not like i buy lipsticks every single month i find i'm more of a like i buy blushes i buy foundations lip gloss like those are my main categories that i love purchasing and and then eyeshadow from time to time it's not like i purchase eyeshadow every single month but when i do i go big or go home you know so so that was the um the third purchase of the month or whatever but uh from bloomingdale's i did purchase a lip gloss set from chanel and it did come with the bag which i turned into a purse and i have a whole video on that i'll try to link uh all the videos of anything um i'm talking about today um in case you guys just want to see how these things perform in action or whatnot but this was $105.84 for that purchase. This is including tax and everything. So this is not just retail price. Um, and then from Sephora, I did purchase a Sephora Favorites um, Plump and Hydrate Lip uh, Kit. So I do have a whole video testing out all those things. And I forgot to mention I am wearing the, a Chanel lip gloss that I purchased over different lip products um underneath but from charlotte Tilbury, i did purchase uh her new foundation and then also a replacement which was my um airbrush flawless powder in shade one which i haven't broke into just yet but it was a set so it was um i believe uh i forgot how much i'll throw in my receipt over here somewhere but the total came out to 90 dollars 93 cents the reason i purchased the foundation i was gonna wait until the vib sell um to get 20 percent off but a lot of the reviews started coming in it did look oh my god i have like a cow's look just this doesn't want to sit down a lot of reviews started coming in and i was very intrigued it seemed like something i would really enjoy i do struggle with a lot of dryness so i love hydrating a foundations i'm wearing pretty much a glowy one today but um i did powder down and add like cream and uh, powder products on top of it so it doesn't look as glowy like here and stuff um just mostly here where i put like cream blush and cream highlight all that jazz um but but yes, the foundation look very lovely. Um, they were out of the shade that I wanted on the Sephora app. So I went ahead and just purchased it from Charlotte Tilbury and got the powder and foundation for, I think it was a good duo. I don't remember what it was, but it was like a duo. So I just went ahead and picked that up, which I would have picked up the powder anyways in the VIB sale. So I just went ahead and got it now. I probably paid a little bit more money for it, I think, but um, I have it on hand and now I don't feel shy about using the one that has major pan in it. So I can just go ahead and finish up my shade one and use shade two. I mean, not shade two, but my replacement. Um, from Ulta, I did spend $83.35 um, on a Chanel foundation that was $70 and a pair of lashes. Um, so yeah, 
didn't really need another foundation but i really really love that one too i've been testing it out for a few weeks now and it's super lovely like did i really need to spend seven dollars on another one no i could have just been using the ones that i have but i'm glad i discovered it because i think it's really going to be a favorite and i did pan a whole foundation and the month of january i'm halfway done with my pat mcgrath one which i'm panning and of course i have two other ones that are project pans that are like really on their last leg so i don't really feel bad for purchasing two foundations in the month of january just because i know the pat mcgrath one will be done so the two foundations that i bought are kind of like replacing the other ones that are on their way out so um i did fully pan one in january there's one that's halfway done so y'all like i don't really feel that guilty okay please don't like unsubscribe or like um give this video a dislike because i know this is a low buy and i'm like well i purchased this and i purchased that and da 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 da, da. just bear with me okay so from chanel i had initially purchased that blush that i told you guys about um in my intro video well i purchased that on the 2nd of january my order ended up being canceled like towards the end of the month like 20 something 28th or so of january it was like canceled um i had ordered that on pre-order and for some reason i guess they just sold inventory that they didn't have and they just canceled my order and other people bought it when it wasn't on pre-order like when it was just for a regular sale and i was like really bitter about that but before i knew um that that happened i was seeing the reviews for the uh look collection by chanel and the coral a 12 blush looks super lovely um so i went ahead and put the bullet in and bought that one and also the ombre blush which a lot of people were raving about it was from the fall collection of 2021 and um danya i will leave her youtube listed down below she does everything pink on her channel so she's like super girly and loves the color pink and luxury makeup like i do so um, I vibe a lot with her channel. So yeah, she looks stunning. And she's more tan than me. She looks stunning in the blush ombre. So I went ahead and picked that one up too. Because I feel like I don't really have nothing in my collection quite like that blush. It's very nude and like brown looking. But I heard it actually comes off pink on the skin. So I don't know. I'm curious to see how that looks on my skin. Because I am not as tan as her. So maybe it might show up darker. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, that was a total of $124.49 for two blushes. So yeah, um, which it evened out because the other blush got canceled. So like that $75 is like knocked off of my monthly total of money spent. So I didn't <laughs> spend like $200 on blushes, you know what I mean? Like I only spent $124.49. Um, but later on um, in the month, I think it was early on in the month, I spent $50.33 on a Giorgio Armani lipstick duo. And I did have a $5 gift card. So um, that duo was $49 and what's like minus the $5 and then the tax and everything came out to be 50 dollars and 33 cents so um that i tried a sample of like in december really love the shade and the formula so i want to have and picked up that duo and um later on in the month i did pick up a westman atelier trio which uh initially i picked up the trio like i don't know if it was around like september or so maybe it was later I know sometime in the fall I picked up uh, the number two trio with the darker shades and I really love the formula of her um, blush. The highlight was very nice. The bronzer, I just felt like the shade was kind of wrong for me. Um, so yeah, I picked up the first duo, which had been out of stock for a very long time. So when it came back in stock on Sephora, I just went ahead and picked it up. It's um, really lovely. So. I did also pick up the Mini Crush palette by Natasha Denona, which um, I already should have a um, video up on my channel, like applying it to my eyes. So 
I'll link that down below if you guys are interested. But the pink just looked really girly and cute in that one. So I just really wanted it. Um, and it was only $25. Not like I was buying a $125 Pat McGrath palette. So I just went ahead and bit the bullet. Comes with a brush. Um, I can't have enough brushes. So it is what it is. So for that order, I spent $111.50. Yeah. And um, I did purchase uh, from Ulta a primer from Milani that had SPF because I just finished up my um, regular SPF that I use every single time I do my makeup. Um, so yeah, and that one is usually like, that primer, I mean that SPF usually is usually like 18 or 19 dollars. This primer was a lot cheaper, I think it was maybe $12 or something. So I did pick up that Milani primer that has SPF. I picked up a Chanel lip liner because they were having 10 times the points on all lip products for diamond and platinum members. So I went ahead and um, had it in my basket since they started selling Chanel. I went ahead and put the bullet when the points were right. And um, I did pick up an eyebrow pencil because I'm almost out of my ABH eyebrow pencil so I went ahead and picked up a next one they had three times the points on that one so I figured I would only pick up one and try to make that one last until maybe March when they usually have uh, Urban Decay eyebrow pencils Benefit eyebrow pencils and ABH eyebrow pencils on sale and then even after the 21 days of beauty they do have like a drugstore type of event and they might even have NYX on sale so I'll probably pick up some eyebrow pencils in the month of March so for February hopefully I can make what I have last um and then I did pick up a concealer from Morphe I hadn't really heard anyone talk about it but the description really fit what I like in a concealer and there's this girl on Instagram um I forget her Instagram name if I can remember it I'll put it in my description box but uh she uses a different Morphe concealer her under eye looks flawless all the time so um I know Jessica Braun always talks about I know Jessica Braun always talks about a Morphe foundation that she really likes so I do believe maybe Morphe does have really nice base products I've never really tried out any of their base products um only ever uh used like their brushes I was sent their mascara and PR and their mascara primer so I use their eyeshadows like way back in the day um but yeah I was just very curious about the concealer and I did try that out in the video um so if you guys are curious you can watch that um but that was I used a coupon and um I think it was a 20% coupon off the drugstore stuff and that one was $64.94 for those products which brings us to a grand total of $814.42 so I did spend more than I did in December which in December I did go like buck wild um because I kind of you knew I was gonna go on a low buy and then putting myself on a low buy I think I purchased a lot because because I spent around 700 and something dollars in December on not a low buy and then going on a low buy I spent $814.42 in one month um, which is probably because I knew I was restricting myself and just like if I'm on a diet or anything like that, I'm just like, well, I can't have it. So I want it. So that's kind of what happened. I think so. Um, and I'm going to hold myself accountable. Like I know I should not be spending nearly a thousand dollars on makeup in one month. Um, that's kind of what people spend throughout a whole year, you know? Um, so I'm going to try to just pace myself. I don't know if I will make any purchases in February. If I do, I know I'm gonna try to keep it under under $814. Like I don't wanna spend that much in one month. Um But we'll just take it easy. <laughs> I have a wish list here and um I'm gonna like tell you guys what's on it and stuff. So like in future videos if you see me purchase something, you know. You guys will know that it's something i've been eyeing just like a lot of the other stuff i've been keeping in my cart and keeping an eye on it but anyways um the charlotte Fon the charlotte Tilbury foundation was on my wish list obviously so that's crossed out um so for our favorites kits i always review those 
here on my channel so you guys will see me purchase the four will see me purchase the four favorite kits whether that be like all lip products or a range of different assortment in there i will review those here on my channel so don't be surprised when you guys see those on my channel i am curious about dior and chanel lip liners i did purchase one chanel lip liner but i wanted in a darker shade they were sold out of most shades the shade i got was pretty much almost the same color as my lip so i need something a little bit darker to give me contrast so i will put those in my cart and on my favorites list and just keep an eye out and wait for the right moment like when they're giving lots of points at ulta or something like that dior um i will have to wait for maybe on recton when the when the um percentage is good then i'll purchase off of the duo oh, not your website i don't think they have a points for dior um macy's or something like that wherever another retailer that sells dior so and i do have to go through quite a bit of lip liners either by decluttering or using them up i'm pretty close to using my kkw lip liner up that i have in a project pan i will continue to pan my way through some more um but lip liner is something that i really do enjoy buying and using so um i have here gucci eyebrow pencil that's one that i'm very curious about so um i don't know when i go through the ones i have and also probably the ones that i will be purchasing here soon um maybe sometime after that so later on in the year it's not going to be anytime soon um maybe during a vib sale when i can get it on cheaper whether that be the spring one or the fall one um but i really don't mind purchasing things full price because sometimes 20 percent off doesn't really make that much of a difference with taxes and stuff like it's pretty much the same retail price so i do purchase things full price sometimes but i do prefer to get a discount when i can um i do have chanel foundations here on my wish list so i really did enjoy the number one to chanel foundation i'm curious to try out some of their more cult classic favorites and I know the water tint uh, foundation is going to be like revamped. I don't think they're going to get rid of the main one, but they're adding one that has more coverage, which I kind of need with like my acne scarring and stuff like that. So when that one comes on the market, um, I will definitely be picking up the water tint with more coverage. I'm not sure what they're going to name it, but that's what I've heard. Um, I put Chanel lipsticks here on my list. I am not in need of any lipsticks. I own a lot of lipsticks, but it'll be nice like if um my dad or someone asks me like what do you want for a birthday gift like i would just say either a chanel lipstick i like these here are the names of them that i like or if, you know usually my dad or whoever likes to give me cash so i can pick what i want so i would just tell my dad like give me some money and i can order what i want online so something like that so hopefully it'll be like a gift because i really don't want to shell out 40 something dollars for a lipstick uh, myself but i'm not opposed to doing it i'm just being honest you guys um i do have the gucci bronzer here on my wish list so i do really much like bronzer i don't know if you guys can see i have on a lot of bronzer today um so yeah i'm almost done with the one i'm using right now which is the charlotte tilbury film star um bronzer so have two other ones in my project pan Hopefully I can go through those three bronzers, feel happy enough where I can purchase one without feeling like, hello, you have a lot of bronzers in your collection. What are you doing buying another one? So hopefully I can, hopefully I can pan my way through some and purchase that Gucci bronzer. I also have the Charlotte Tilbury uh, bronzer. That will be a refill. So I do have the, I have the large one in shade number two, but massive pan in it. As soon as I fully pan that one, I will repurchase. Hopefully that will be later on in the year when I can get it on a discount. I do have Armani lipsticks here on my wish list that will either be like in the VIB cell or if I can get them in a duo like I purchased in January, then I will purchase them if they're on like a good cell like that, like in a pack or something. Uh, it says here the Chanel water tint blushes, which is a product that's also coming out in the future. So I love cream blush, liquid blush, that type of thing. I have like five different <laughs> cream blushes on today. Top with that uh, Chanel blush that I bought in the like star pattern. So yeah, I really do love cream and liquid blushes. So I do see myself, I do see myself purchasing some of those if the price is right. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll have to see. What the retail price is when they come out with those 
I do have Dior lip glosses here on my uh, wish list. I kept putting them in my cart. They kept going in and out of stock. And um, I'm scared they will be out of stock for the VIB sale. So I might, might just pick some up just because I am very curious about the formula. I love lip gloss. So I pam a lot of lip gloss. I think I finished 21 up in the year 2021. So I'm pretty good at panning them. So I'm not really opposed to buying more. It's just need to reel in the spending. I do have more Gucci lipsticks here on my wish list. I own a few, but would like some Again, more. hopefully this will be through gifts or VIB sale when I can get a discount. I do have the Natasha Denona pastel palette on my wish list. A picture of it uh, surfaced on the internet and I really want it. So again, hopefully it could be either by receiving it in a gift or purchasing it on a discount. The last thing I have on my wish list is Gucci blushes. Um, I am curious to see if Gucci, I'm curious to see if Gucci will come out with either cream or powder blushes because I'll be all about that. I'll be all over that like shit on flies, like. Like, please give me all the blushes in the world, especially from Gucci. Yeah. So that was my wish list. I did tell you my purchases. I'm being honest with you guys. I could have came on here and be like, no, I didn't spend not one penny on makeup, but that wouldn't be fun to see. So I am upfront and honest, told you guys what I purchased and hopefully January will not be as much. I mean, fe February. Where has the time went? Where has my mind went? I cannot even think. Time goes by so fast. I want everything to slow down. But this year will be gone in the blink of an eye just like 2021 was. I'm still calling 2021 2020 because 2020 was a very crazy rough year and I'm still kind of stuck in 2020 even though we're in 2022. Let me know how your guys' low buy is going. Comment down below what you thought about this update because I know it was fucking atrocious. <sighs> I'm ashamed of myself. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if it was entertaining. I know it probably wasn't helpful if you're on a low buy, you're probably thinking about all these products. But, um, I'm not trying to tempt you guys. It's just the reality of what I'm going through right now. I do have an addiction. I'm battling it. Uh, makeup is like a coping mechanism for me. Everything that goes on in my life, I kind of just cope through buying it buying it through using it that kind of thing retail therapy um when i use makeup it is very therapeutic to me i feel like when i sit down and spend time on just getting glam i feel better inside it feels like i sat down and talked to a shrink it felt like i sat down and talked to a shrink and like just released all my feelings so um yeah let's just sound off in the comment section what we thought about this update even if it wasn't really a positive one i know you guys are expecting me to say i didn't spend any money but that wasn't the case we are going to make progress together hopefully so big hugs to everyone going through it to everyone who's going through it just like me so um i hope you guys have a blessed one i'll see you all on my next video hopefully next um update i have a little bit more of a positive um outcome and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.